Every month over here in the UK, the Royal Mail issues special stamps or presentation packs. You can go to your local post office and ask for one of these. A special stamps booklet that will tell you at a glance the release dates and the type of stamps that are on offer on those particular dates. Let me show you what I mean. So it's just a small booklet. On the right here is a calendar. Those red circles represent the dates that new stamps are released on. Should actually go that way. And then those there are the particular stamps and the dates that they are going to be released on. Let me just center it up and zoom in a little bit for you. There you go, 2019 special stamps release dates. So on the 15th of January this year, we had Stamp Classics. 13th of February, we had Leonardo da Vinci. 14th of March, we had the Marvel Stamps. The 4th of April, Birds of Prey. Uh, 2nd of May, British Engineering. 24th of May, Queen Victoria Bicentenary. 6th of June, most recently, the D-Day uh, Stamps. 9th of July, in a couple of days' time, we've got Curious Customs, 13th of August, Forests, 3rd of September, Music Giants, 19th of September, Royal Navy, Ships, October is still to be announced, 5th of November, we've got the Christmas stamps out, and I think we've got, it says November at the bottom there, but I think it means December, we've still got more stamps to be announced. Anyhow... If you live over here in the UK and you're interested in collecting some presentation packs, go to your local post office and ask for one of these small booklets. Okay, I occasionally dip into buying these presentation packs and get ones that I find particularly interesting to me. Back in 2016, the Royal Mail released a presentation pack celebrating 50 years of Pink Floyd, a group that I love and have listened to for most of my life. And when they brought out this particular presentation pack, it was a win-win situation for me. So let me show you what's going on with this particular Pink Floyd presentation pack. I'll start with this one here. I'll have to tilt it up because of the glare from the light above. So look, so we've got six stamps uh, showing six album covers by Pink Floyd. Piper at the Gates of Dawn on the left. Atom Heart Mother in the middle with the cow. The famous Dark Side of the Moon. Wish You Were Here bottom left. Animals. Which way am I going that way? Bottom middle. And then their latest offering, the Endless River. So these are six of the 15 studio albums that they recorded. And if you've never listened to any Pink Floyd, can I recommend Wish You Were Here? That is a monstrous album. People always go on about the Dark Side of the Moon up here, which is excellent, but for me, it's this album here, which literally takes you on a journey to the stars. It's unbelievable how much power it has. I think it is fantastic. It's a brilliant album. There we go. Right, the top three stamps in this little collection here are standard first class stamps. The bottom three are all priced at £1.52 and we can see Queen Liz is in the top right corner facing left. If I open this up a little bit, uh, those are the stamps and I'm not going to be able to show you. That's a bit of information about 
Pink Floyd, the group themselves, their music, and the albums. So it comes in this kind of like handy fold away presentation pack, as the name suggests. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this one. There are four stamps on this particular section of a presentation pack. It's highlighting their live, legendary live performances, live gigs. The top two stamps are first class, the bottom two are priced at £1.52 as well. Top left we've got Pink Floyd at the UFO Club in 1966. Top right Pink Floyd, the Dark Side of the Moon Tour in 1973. Bottom left Pink Floyd, The Wall Tour, 1981. And Pink Floyd, The Division Bell Tour in 1994. Fantastic tour that was. Turning it over, it discusses Pink Floyd's awesome artwork by the legendary graphic designer Storm Thorgerson. Now if you're interested in collecting presentation packs and you're based here in the UK, pause this video and jot down the dates on the screen and go and buy yourself some presentation packs from the ones that are yet to come out later this year. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I didn't fanboy you out too much going on about Pink Floyd. If you are interested in hearing their music I'll leave a link to one of their live performances in the description box below for you to check out. The guitar solo by Dave Gilmore in the second act of the song is often described as the greatest guitar solo of all time, and I would agree. Right, I'm off. Thanks for watching this. If you have, remember to hit that like button, share, comment, and please do subscribe for more content. And until the next video, bye for now.